mostly due to the flamethrowers that SWAT team has used against them in the parking lot. Nothing like the smell of smoking ribs at the tailgate party. Hey, Grim, I stopped by this voodoo head fool some shrunken head guy had set up out there. Two heads is for ten bucks. Put one on my wife's divorce attorney and the other on the kid at the coffee shop for not leaving enough room for my cream. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Hexon Oilers take on the New Gorland Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Well, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toast trap to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toast trap, and that'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and nine. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. <laughs> don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my head. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. USA population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Second and one. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. First and eight to go. And 
good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second and three. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those poetic men like a haiku. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. And he punched his way up and he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. And that'll bring up third and one. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you doing? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He just made mincemeat out of that guy. Hey, what is mincemeat anyway? Is it like bologna? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a sandwich. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs. And this
this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good hits on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. If you don't hear it coming, it'll get into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim! Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense! No, but he's making a lot of dollars. This is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Welcome to the Grind Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a dump. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, hot, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense calls are sticking. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down, the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. He 
Nick Carmack finishes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trip. And he picks up maybe four on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Nice punt. Should move him back. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. This guy's a brick sh Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. Hot. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what, you're married? Mm, it's complicated. The kick is good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. He almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that is caught for a first down. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, that was a big hit. And, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah. That's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. It's a first down from a great catch. 
Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he throws that one to the sidelines. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And Dane, it's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. I'm a Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing co Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Bricks. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two. Sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and more than the QB would like. QB is saying his prayers. And the ball. And he just gave a gift to the defense with that boneheaded lateral. He scores! And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tank's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, eight. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really... Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref.
First down in a mile. Hot one, hot two. Nice run for five yards. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, and the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. Third down and forever. That pass play nets them seven yards. Ah, oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. Nicely done for a first down. At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hint. Dirty tricks attack the ref. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Third down and, well, good luck. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of this whole. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. Yeah, this guy has some big. What a hit. Yeah, yeah she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And 
And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Roid Rage, how do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? One run. You can't keep a good meal? He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up third and one. He is fighting for every up. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, he's going berserk. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. down and eight. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, he'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the binoculars. I got to see. He is automatic. Nice kick! Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. <laughs> let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, nice hit! <laughs> The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. First 
and four. Second down in a very lot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex girlfriend signaled when they were dope. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life or die. I don't understand. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always pump. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, okay, no game. I kill. Kill my own. Get on the gun. Get on the gun. Get on out. Get on Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Hey, man, I'm scared of a cellar. I am a hell of a cellar. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down and more than the QB would like. transformed into a violent form of pure badass. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Dad, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And it's first and ten. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line except two yards on the pass. Grim, this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and... They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Rip, can I kill him? And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick's a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Third down and six. The New Orleans Zombies had their guts and ate them too and went at home. They come up big today with a solid win and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Down my mouth. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. See that little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say so fast. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by...